Hi, and welcome to episode 28 of my Ice Sheet series. We're going to enjoy another spring, actually. It's time for spring. I wanted to say we are going to, going to enjoy another winter, but then I realized it is, by now, almost over. So we're going to be very soon um, done with Starflight basics, and then the real fun part begins. I mean, I still have to research a few other n necessities. Crypto sleep caskets have to be researched. The long range mineral scanner I need to. So there's still some work to be done. Not to begin with all the uh, the necessary materials for um, building a spaceship. That's going to be... I, I still have a lot of work ahead of me. But at least it begins to be visible where um, where the end of, of the goal lies, you know. That's always a good thing. So, I should bring up some more lamps here, too. So, thousands of thousands of uh, units of rice are lying around here. So, let's make some more chem fuel. Oh, it's making me so happy to see this uh, place so flourishing and so alive, you know. So I've figured I want to have at least one set of prestige marine armor because of uh, Henry's rank and such. And the other set of uh, marine armor will go um, onto Cardenas, Br uh, a brawler. Don't need to say more about her. Brawlers are so good. Formulae. Only being topped by tough and nimble, uh, or best complemented with toughness and nimbleness. If you have a tough and nimble, if you have a tough and nimble brawler, you should have that guy on your side. And uh, beware if this uh, guy is on the enemy side. Be very aware. <laughs> well, it's a strong combo. That's all. Okay. I'm not sure if my materials are, um, no, they're not sufficient for that prestige set, but that's okay. So, hmm, look at that. Barbara is actually working at it. Very happy to see that. She's researching now on the other spot. I don't want that. I'm going to, um, oh, I... I remember you need to force them on that because otherwise they'll just do that a tiny moment long and then they're just gone again all right so as you see here it would take 3.4 days to have a guaranteed um success but that's mainly because barbara is not that good with um research in general but this works like um you just have to put somebody on this machine long enough and then either they find something after this is 100% or well every three and a half days we'll find something on random so there is although the option to put somebody with a better research skill on that machine let's uh, check out the difference it's amazing so here or wait a sec no huh Turns out mining uh, does, no, yeah. it's a weird uh, situation. I thought that the uh, s higher science skill would make much more of a difference, but I was very, very wrong. Okay, so it turns out I have to, um, I have to micromanage her um, on this uh, workbench if I want to get results, but I think I'm gonna do that because right now, I just need some underground deposits. That's basically the best thing I can hope for. Underground deposits of uh, plasteel or gold, ideally, but uh, that's uh, maybe asking for a little bit much. Combat supplier spaceship. So, what can we do for you, good sirs and ladies? Mm -hmm. They have armor. Nice. So, they buy those sculptures for a good dollar. Very good. Ooh, excellent quality. 
Just keeping a few of the drugs for myself, but only the smallest portion. So, cataphract armor would be awesome if I... Oh boy, I can't afford that, actually. Huh. Okay. So, can I afford the better quality? If I sell all the drugs, maybe? Not quite. Oh, uh, medicine is very low, too. Oh, never mind then. So let's uh, round it uh, like like this. There we go. Rather buy a few units of medicine here. And there we go. Cataphract armor. Mm, even bigger and better. <laughs> Love it. So now we're sitting at a 120% uh, resistance. The move speed is uh, crazy low, but whatever. <laughs> it's not a problem if you're that strong. So Cardenas can now take the um, armor here. So turns out those um, slate sculptures are really worth the money. Or the work much more. So let's keep going. I earned a lot of money with those slate sculptures. Perfect. And most importantly, I now have two people with power armor. It's giving me a very relieved feeling about the future because, um, you know, things can be quite nasty if you have, if you don't have people with power armor. All right, but uh, Barbara should be suffering hypothermia at some point, but she doesn't. So for some odd reason, Barbara is scanning almost as quick as uh, Eden, although her research skill is way lower. Hmm. Gotta check out what's uh, what's the reason behind that. Billiards need space. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. So yeah. Gotta micromanage those people here to make sure we're using that thing here correctly. So it turns out it's staying uh, a little bit uh, dull and dark in that corner, whatever. Man, that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> whatever. Maybe you should put up a comfy chair in front of that thing. <laughs> Well, she's not really tired yet, so... Ah, I see. Hypothermia is just building up way slower right now. Okay. And a mech hive is uh, attacking me with drop pots all over the place, so... Bad news, I guess. There's got to be centipedes, I'm sure. So here's one Lancer. Lancer and Pikeman. Pikeman. Lancer. Okay. No centipedes. Consider myself very, very lucky here. So, um, Barbara, how is your uh, hypothermia? <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, let her wait a moment here. And, uh, all right, Henry, you're going to be there. At this point, I don't... Uh, have no chance in um, auto assigning people. All right, Lenny is uh, well. I'm going to keep Lenny undrafted here. Simple reason behind that. Um, for me, it's quite safe to have um one person left who can haul people back home if the need arises. So overall, these guys will trickle into um, my base slowly. So I don't think that this is a really dangerous situation at all. But well, you never know until you know. So Lancer one stepping in into a trap in one shot. Okay. Well, that was the trap hat shot. Um, I don't want my 
animals here um, drafted in this. We don't need them. That's that's all. So traps really paying off here. So that bad boy is using this uh, position. Well, it's always going to be a problem if I make it like that. So my folks can't hit back there. All right, I gotta be, uh, I gotta be changing something with that situation. That's no good. So I'm going to let Henry uh, charge into that guy, thinking himself smug there, thinking himself smart, thinking he's safe. You're not safe. Henry is coming for you. So probably that's what I should do more. I just uh, didn't realize it yet. So... What's the uh, pikeman doing there? And also it seems like this barricade is way... Um, way too um, far behind. There we go. Yeah, whenever anybody uh, wants to take advantage of this uh, fortification here, or this corner much more, I'll just uh, send Henry up front and uh, that's what we're gonna do. I thought there were more of them. Well, they brought me some plasteel. I am grateful. So, ah, there we go. I knew there was somebody um, missing. So that's... Uh, Let's leave that one to uh, Lord Henry. Bang. So... That's that. Like, I like what I see here. I really like what I see. The only thing so far was this uh, patch of sandbags was... Uh, more counter uh, contraproductive than anything else so and apart from that i need my barricades um like here and these are rather useless and there we go so that was the one harmless uh, mech uh, mechanoid raid consider me i consider myself so lucky here and i'm very very happy that this whole setup is working out so nice. I'm going to put up some autocannon turret later on. Sounds like a decent idea to me. So, spring, still minus 50 degree outside. Dang. But with the shield belt and the power armor, I think Henry can tank a little bit of those guys. All right. So Nutra means that's also something I seem to um, have a certain shortage of. So Angal's attack job. Um, what can I acquire for that? I want that um, one here. We're going to take this quest. I just got attacked, so I'm pretty sure it should be no problem at all. And I'm going to bring all the colony here. No half measures. It's uh. Nine people against seven. I like that. Oh, only Jonas stayed at home. That's okay. Just making sure that we're, that the uh, that the campfire doesn't go out. You know. All right. It's uh, even only minus thirty six degree here. It's way warmer compared to my um, home area here. So there we go. Well, these guys are actually not as harmless as I thought. So, do they have any, um, yeah, they have a turret there, all right. So, it's a good thing behind there is uh, I have Henry, you know. I can just send Henry to tank that stuff for me. Okay. So, is there anybody among those guys having a high range? There's one bold action rifle among them. All right. Having a lot of people being very slow here, and uh, well, 
there's not really a good corner to um, approach this fight from. So, I'm gonna take cover here, and uh, who's my highest range marksman? Let's take Barbara. She's uh, she's having a tradition of uh, being a good shot. So let's uh, start the fight, lure them into my into advantage of my people, and uh, bring other high range uh, marksmen into that. So now they're going to attack me. All right, gotta fall back now. They're. Uh, my people are not in advantage in this situation here, not at all. Alright. Here I'm having some cover. Let's just fall back. It's going to be horrible for them if they are attacking me, and I'm pretty sure they will. Alright, so I think it's uh, now time to pop the Henry. So... I should have brought grenades, now that I think about it more closely. So... Let's uh, bring all the people up front and uh, have a nice classic shootout, you know. I gotta be ugh, attacking this guy though with the Molotov, uh, with the mollies. Always take down the people with the mollies first. Mollies are really, really nasty. And you don't want anybody um, run free with Molotov cocktails. That's a basic rule of conduct, you know. So we're taking a few shots on our people here, yes, but uh, now they're fleeing, so let's see, check out the medical condition. Um, Onesan is uh, suffering quite hard, so let's uh, put down a sleeping spot for her. She's actually the only person uh, being in life being in a life-threatening situation so let's bring Barbara and Eden and uh, Henry is gonna take care of her exactly that's what I had in mind so next step is uh getting rid of that uh, gun turret there let's check out I want to take one more check yeah, there's only Or not many people. Nobody left who's uh, going to die soon. All right. And next step being the battery, and then everything should be fine because then the turret should have no more power. Bang. There we got it. I want to uh, take that one home. So, let's see, ha, <laughs> there's another uh, case of wooden beds, so, um, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do, and that's deconstructing them beds. Wood is basically the most uh, valuable um, commodity here, always. I, think, I feel like it's really, really cool that um, for this particular uh, quest you always get the a complete map um, like a colony. I actually um, didn't realize it as of now, so... I hate my life that uh, for doing this, but, uh, well... We gotta do what we gotta do, you know? And um, that means I'm picking up all the wood. All the wood. We're going to leave no wood behind. <laughs> it's just too important, you know? And neither do we leave uh, the turret behind. That's also an absolute no-go. I could plunder a even more here, but... Uh, I don't want to um, 
go too crazy here with that. So let's uh, bring everybody home. Nice. That's why I like these uh, these um, quests because it's almost always a uh, guaranteed income of wood for me. I never see. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. Cool. All right. So um, we back home. Jonah So um um what? Fire, no path. So um okay. That's what happens if you wait too long. Dang. Good thing that I didn't need that thing too much, but uh it's still a little bit uh, annoying to leave home for for a few hours and uh, as soon as you leave home for a few hours immediately your geothermal generator explodes <laughs> all right we gotta be um, we gotta be changing some things here so let's uh, let's do this this only shows me that the old construction is not uh, viable anymore we got to be reconstructing this and I already know how so I'm um, going to reinstall this here and we're going to deconstruct all of that this year as well and now I'm going to re reinstall that just make that room a little bit larger, and that's all it takes. So, there we go. And there... That's everything it takes. Well, maybe Barbara is not, uh fit enough anymore for that kind of assignment, but I feel like it has to be done. So it will get done. Alright, I'm going to uh, let her off the hook for now. Give her a good night's sleep and then we're going to continue with that. Or Henry is just going to uh, finish that job okay um the goodwill with the broken empire is all all good again um that's that's pretty neat because uh they were hating me pretty much last time i checked so um nobody is carrying around the wood anymore very good so i have now a few units of wood back in my possession it's always a good thing So, that's gonna be everything we need. And this way, um, these problems should be um, a thing of the past. This way, this shouldn't happening anymore. Shouldn't be happening anymore. I mean, of course, I could have uh, left the door open to begin with. Now that I look at what's happening here, I consider myself a little bit foolish, but <laughs> whatever. Let's leave this one uh, open and uh, let's just forget about the rest, shall we? I think that's a good decision. Um, I also gathered a few units of plasteel while destroying the uh, mechanoids the last time. That's also quite nice. So I want to do these doors as soon as possible. I really like to have um, sneak ways 
all across my base. And over the years I'm, uh, of which I'm playing RimWorld, I really, really um, grew thankful, uh, uh, grateful for these measures because I've had so many situations where these little uh, pathways uh, turned out to be very, very useful and life-saving. So, makes me wonder if you guys are also having such things. Feel free to drop me a comment about that. And, of course, I plundered yet another turret. That's, of course, also very, very awesome. Oh, moisture pumps. Now that I remember... I remember talking about those last episode. So... Oh, gosh, that's annoying. Or... No. So, actually perfect. Just, uh... Leaves the question open how to, um give power to that pump here, but uh, maybe we'll check something, we'll find something out for that. So, it's getting warmer, minus 28 degrees, cozy temperatures here. Alright. So, it turns out my best income of Plasteel will be Mechanoids, after all. Pretty sure that's uh, how, it'll, how it'll all uh, sum up. Because, I mean, I can mine out those other mountains too, but I'm pretty sure I won't be finding too much Plasteel to begin with. By the way, there's this wonderful silver deposit, and uh, I want to mine out a little bit more than that. Because it's always nice to have uh, an, an easier access by having a shorter, a shorter way to walk. So these moisture pumps are uh, going to be very useful because the water here is uh, good for nothing. It's only blocking my my um, my efforts pretty uh, nastily. So. Turns out we're going to put down some slate walls here as well. And I think I'm going to do the same for all of this area here. And let's uh, go for this here too. Yeah, that's, that's good. I mean, I have so much slate. I, uh, I consider myself foolish. If I won't, if I wouldn't use it. This way, I'll at least get rid of a few chunks, you know, and produce some more chunks. But that's a uh, that's another story. Jonah is on a work frenzy. Awesome. So, all right. Not sure if I'm going to make new rooms out of the, this or um, what's it, what it's going to be, but I like to have options to work with. So I think this could be enough to um, give this pump some power. All right. There we go. So, this place is really going places. Uh, well, no. This place is growing nicely. That's more than what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm really happy with um, how things come together here. So, I didn't uh, manage to research the Starflight basics today. Well, I'm not too surprised. I mean, um, I had to conquer a facility there. But these facilities are a very steady and uh, reliable supply of um, wood for my colony. Because that's something I really don't understand why um, this hasn't been implemented with the base game. Why on earth? Has the royalty DLC no 
option to uh, use braziers if you're having no wood in your uh, colony because um, it's just terrible. I can't uh, have a proper throne room um, without wood and not every biome has wood. And I'm only talking vanilla here. That's uh, something that just uh, surprises me. I hope there's going to be some fix for that in the future because I really don't like it uh, as it is now. It feels really weird. I would love to have this place uh, lit and warm and uh, beautiful all the time, but I feel like I can't afford it. It's just a... it just feels not good. I think you're, you definitely might understand what I mean. So this pump, this moisture pump is now working. And this is going to be the end of today's episode, friends. Man, look at that. It's beautiful. I love it. And we're going to get towards spaceship building quite soon. Even better. More sheeps. More sheep, not sheeps. <laughs> Sometimes I notice it. Some At some days I notice it more than on others that I'm no native speaker. But whatever might be the case, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I love to hear from you guys. And apart from that, leave a thumbs up for that series. Your help goes a long way. And of course, if you haven't done so already, smack a little subscription on that channel. That helps more than you might think. And if you want to, turn on the notifications. If you don't want to, there's also my Discord server in the description below. You find my release schedule on there. And uh, yeah, whatever you do or don't, have a great time and I hope we're going to see each other soon. Bye-bye.